So this is an update on my progress uh, towards my transformation video, which I'll be doing soon. Still not low enough body fat. I've been going pretty slowly on the cut. So I'll just pull up my fitness pal here and we'll go through it. All right, so this is my my fitness pal. And you can see here my goal uh, calories are 2,800. And I've actually been logged on to my fitness power for 95 days in a row uh, to get the weight loss I've achieved so far. So some pretty decent effort went into it. I haven't gotten to my goal weight yet. However, 8 kilos has um, been an excellent weight loss rate for me. Uh, I haven't lost too much um, strength in the gym. Okay, so if I can just find it. All right, so we've got my weight here. And if I put the last 90 days, so the last three months, you can see here my weight started off at 97.5 kilograms. Now, that was in the morning. So I always did these measurements here in the morning, always, because it has to be consistent. If you're not consistent, then um, you'll have different weights and you'll never know what you are. So I was about 100 kilos, but that was during the day. So I don't really count that because it's inconsistent. I could be eating a high volume of food and then low volume of food. So it's easy to just to do in the morning, weigh yourself in the morning. So anyway, I started on the 12th of the 8th. So 12th of August. And um, we're down here in October now, November, sorry, November 9th. And you can see how my weight's gone down pretty gradually, pretty slowly. So started off at 97 and got my way down to 95 in just over three weeks. So two kilos, three weeks, which is what I want. It's about 700 grams of weight loss a week. And I've actually done maintained that 700 grams of weight loss throughout my um, weight loss. And now I'm down to 88.5 kilos in the morning, which is pretty is a pretty big drop from 97. So, yeah, big drop there. Um, and that's, yeah, about 9 kilos or so of weight loss so far. Now let's go to food. So what have I been eating? Where's my, actually I'll go to reports and I'll go to my net calories. All right, so these are the calories I've eaten over the last 90 days. And just wait for that to load. No idea why it's taking a long time. All right, so we'll do, 30 days, right? So we have here the 2800 limit that I set for myself. Now, th these big days here where you see 3700 calories. Oh, okay, 90 days decided to come up. All right, so you see these big days here um, where there's like almost 4000 calories. They're my refeed days. They're my refeed days. Every five, six, seven days, I will increase my carbohydrates just to keep energy up while losing weight. Now, these days here, we've gone 1700 and all that. They're just days that I haven't really tracked it very well, but I did get around the 2800 calorie mark. I just didn't record it. But you can see here, I've been pretty consistent over the 95 days that I've been tracking. And that's the key to weight loss is just the tracking your calories um, consistently or if you're not tracking calories, eating well consistently. You know, eating high carb, low fat all the time, whole foods uh, if you're not tracking calories. So if you've been following me on Facebook, which you should do by the way, um, I've joined a athletics club. And I'll be doing um, sprinting from now on. So I've, I haven't given up the weights, 
but it's going to make up a lot, a, a lot um, lesser part of my program. So, for instance, I might be going once or twice a week to do weights instead of four or five times, uh, or th three to five times. So I'll be going once or twice just to maintain uh, muscle strength and build up weak parts, especially my hamstrings. I've actually, I actually injured my uh, hamstring doing some sprints because I think it's a bit weak. Um, so I'll be working on that as well. Um, and to keep up my fitness, I've been riding a lot because I haven't been able to go out and run for a while now. Maybe two weeks, I haven't really run done any sprints that is. I, sh I can do a jog, but I can't do any sprints as of yet. Um, I could possibly do 70%, but yeah, no no 100% anything like that. Yeah, it was just when I did a 100% sprint, I just stuffed my hamstring straight away. So no more of that. I want to um, compete in the nationals by next year. Now you might be thinking, how the hell are you going to do that? Well, <laughs> a lot of <clears throat> a lot of hard work and um, a lot of steroids. <laughs> a lot of steroids, nah. Um, a lot of hard work and so training could be twice a day uh, for sprinting. Uh, at 80%, 70, 80% just to keep the intensity a bit lower. So I need 11, 11 seconds flat to qualify for nationals for next year. And even if I don't qualify for nationals next year, I just hope I get 11 seconds. 11 seconds would be a good time. Um, I've done 12 seconds before and I might have done 11.95 back in school. So maybe three years ago. Four, four years ago, but I haven't really done any sprinting, so to speak, since then. Maybe a bit of basketball, but nothing much. So it may take me a while to build up uh, the speed again. And, yeah, one of the reasons I wanted to lose, uh, say, 10 kilos is not only to <laughs> get rid of all that fat I gained, um during you know doing powerlifting and all that kind of stuff but to also be quicker because if you if you lose weight you're a lot faster if you're a lot leaner you're a lot faster because you're just not going to be able to make up that weight in speed see all the sprinters are um you know 90 kilos around 90 kilos at my weight and they've got a lot more muscle so yeah, I need to decrease the weight a bit more. I think maybe 86 kilos um, during the day, which means 84 kilos uh, measurement in the morning. Or around, yeah, around there. Maybe 85 in the morning. 